Finally, it's race day. Ben's got his C6 Z06. Of course, I've got the supercharged C5. The Blue Angels are performing about 10 miles away. So on this Saturday, we've pretty much got Rock Falls Raceway to ourselves. Toys for life. All right, let's jump right into it. Now, Ben has got plenty of seat time racing, but never at an actual track before. So we're gonna do a couple of solo runs. And Ben loses traction at second gear, so he has to get out of it. Now it's my turn and we're both using regular street radial tires. I've got Firestone 8500s. Ben's got Michelin Pilot Sport 4s. So at over 500 horsepower each, traction's definitely going to be an issue today, which makes it fun because you actually have to drive the car and hopefully have a little bit of skill. That's a big hopefully. And as you see here, I suffer the same fate and have some traction issues. Crappy street tires at the track and all. Ben and I have decided to do two out of three. I've got a camera facing backwards and forwards. And Ben's got a camera facing forwards. Now before we get to the tiebreaker, this race came up next. It's a supercharged C5 Z06 versus a supercharged C7 Z06. And now it's time for the final race in this best of three drag racing challenge. The winner will forever have bragging rights. The winner is basically the idiot street tire drag racer of the day, but hey, we're having a good time. But wait, we still had plenty of time, so of course we made the best of it and made a bunch more passes. However, the track was starting to heat up and get kind of slippery, so the times weren't that great. Turns out, I think the left lane was quite a bit slipperier, and in this race, Ben gets the easy victory. So what did we learn from this day of racing? Well, there's always just great people at the track. A big shout out to this group. One of their members even shot some of the footage used in this video. Ben learned that even though the track is prepped, that doesn't mean he's going to get good traction with his low profile street tires. I learned that after several times to the track with my C5 same basic combo, I think I've got it pretty well dialed in. This time I achieved a new personal best of 130.81 miles per hour by adding a little bit more timing on the top end and I think I might have just a little bit more left in her. I also learned that I think there's something holding Ben's C6 Z06 back based on his 122 mile an hour 
quarter mile trap speed. And I've driven with Ben enough times, I've even scanned a few of his runs, I'm pretty sure the problem isn't the driver. Stock C6 Z06s typically run about 123 miles per hour in the quarter mile. And since Ben's car has aftermarket intake, heads, camshaft, and Cook's headers, I think he should be much closer to 130 miles per hour in the quarter mile. So that gives us a mystery to dig into to see if we can figure out what the culprit might be. If you've got any ideas, be sure to leave them in the comments below. We're all ears. Guys, it's been a blast. Be sure to hit the thumbs up below, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching. For goodness sake.